How are you all doing, guys? I'm MJ Haggis, and this is episode 204 of my SnowRunner Let's Play. We're in the Voron AE... Oh, how do we get it up? That one. Is it? Yeah. Voron AE 4380. Cracking little truck. Very capable. And we're going to go for the short logs. Same as we did in the last episode with the Step 310E. So let's get underway. I'm recording this pretty much straight after. So I haven't had a chance to see if there's any comments. But not to worry, plenty more stuff to do. I didn't get the step back, but he's still stuck up at that eastern base. That's a return journey. Probably when I get this uh, Voron back as well. This will be another one that's should be should be nice and straightforward because he's very capable. Nice big fat tires, good center of gravity, and quite powerful. Don't need to worry about switching on and off the all-wheel drive or the diff lock. Both permanently fitted or fixed. Just an utter beast of a machine as well. Water's not a problem there. What I might do with this guy though is instead of going up and over the top like I did with the step, I might come back down this way and we'll cut through the lower lands, the, the um, flooded part. This guy zoom up all the way to the top in the high ratio, same as a pay star. Ah, oh, not a problem. Obviously, he's not got a load uh, to weigh him down a wee bit. That that was that wasn't shabby. We're gonna be going back out that way. Lovely set of logs. Now this could be mildly tricky going down here. We found out with the Tega, it just tipped straight over with that trailer. I see, that's the kind of thing you got to be careful of. Nice and slowly. Why there's not a better road in there, I will never know. Is it this bit here we cut in? No, a little bit lower. We here, I think. Yeah, that's much easier. Straight back across, I think, would be the best route. There's somewhere over there in the distance. Follow this 
completely higher ground. Okay, I can definitively say that's much faster and probably safer. Obviously I'm not done yet, but it took me way, way longer to get to this point when I used the step. Remember to set my recorder, uh, timer again. Forgotten. Yeah, that's a lot easier. fuel as well. Oh, good amount of fuel left in that trailer. And another, um, oh, hold on, there we go, an alarm going off. Um, yeah, having a fuel trailer there, highly recommend it guys. The time it takes to drop off a trailer is um, massively offset by the benefit it brings. Again, watch out for the planks and watch out for the ditch and the crash barrier. I'll be so glad to get rid of this up in the mountains contract. Now this is the example of the balloon tires getting a little bit in the way. The step could get through there no problem. He's got to climb up. Let's go nice and slowly. Struggling there. I've got to get the nose round to the left. That's better. Again, once you know how you're getting through there, it's not a problem. But it's one of those ones that, when you're hitting it for the first time, you can get caught out. Shouldn't be a problem for the Voron. But it is, I said before in the comments when I was replying to Brian, um, sometimes using the lesser capable vehicles just makes it more of a challenge and more satisfying when you achieve them. Using something like the Zix 605R for this would just be massively overkill. And you just storm through it. Whereas using little things like the Step or the, the Kodiak C70 is another example. Um, there's, there's probably other examples as well for smaller trucks. But when you do achieve it, you go, yeah.
I mean, even the Vorons finding this no challenge. But he's a truck that this was. This would be probably what this truck would be designed for. Here's our little step. He's ready to go back to the garage. And another stage complete. Let's get him reversed out. Two worthy trucks, guys. Well worth having in your garage. Engine off. Let's go back to the lowlands. And we're... There he is. That was easy. Final part. As you can see, long logs ready to go. And this is the final part. So what I'll do is I will just let you see exactly what I'm doing right from the beginning to the end. I'll not do any edits now. And we will go straight across the road. Didn't look left, didn't look right, but again, Traffic is low today. Weather is good. Confidence is high. But never get complacent. This should be one of the more difficult loads. So say you weren't wanting to use this Western Star and you want to use a truck with a low saddle and a trailer. It'd be, it would be more difficult, more of a challenge. And perhaps that's what I should have done to finish up. But we're on our way. I kind of haven't thought about that. Oops. But the Western Star I wasn't really using before. This is a truck that has to have at least the all-wheel drive or the diff or whichever the mod, the vehicle upgrades, you have to go and find them. And is this when it's just rear wheel drive is is difficult. But once it's got all its vehicle mods, bigger engine and the, the, the two other the drive things, the all-wheel drive and the diff lock, this becomes a very, very useful truck. Obviously it's got its restraints with no availability of putting a trailer on it and I don't, it's got no other load bed, it's just this flatbed, but all considered there's a lot it can do. Oh, and you see, now I'm thinking you've got to endure this water part with me. Mm. Is there any other way I can go that doesn't take me through that water? Not... Well, if you could cut off to the left there, then maybe... Because that is, it is really slow as a slug through treacle, kind of slow. So we'll put a little bit of extra challenge on ourselves.
maybe this would be a better way to go anyway. Who knows? We're about to find out. It's way faster going this way so far. Where will I go? Straight across, I suppose. Head for that abandoned car. Somebody's pride and joy. And we're gonna cut up. Yeah, guys, that's. Hate to say it, and I wish I'd found out that before, but that's way faster. Ah, the things you learn as you get towards the end. Never mind. You can feel that you're getting towards the end. Sun is shining. We'll not bother getting fuel from that one. Massive fuel base is probably one of its limiting factors. Okay, let's avoid the planks. And try and get around here in a one-off. Nice and steady. Destination highly. Whoa! What? That wasn't for stopping. Fortunately, he didn't tip over the crash barrier. Hey, right, no more mistakes. Come on, MJ. We'll have to put two wheels over the crash barrier there. Fortunately, having such a long wheel base, the back ones are still on the main road and able to push quite comfortably. Yeah, that's not a good angle. That's better. Go on. This thing can lean over surprisingly far before the engine conks out. More damage off nothing on the road whatsoever. Get her nice and wide. Watching out for any sneaky little rocks that are there, like that one just passed. That's a nasty little section there. 
And there's no trees or anything to winch from, is there? Nope, nothing in the ground. Last snowy section, come on. Make us all proud. One steady at this point. Let's tip over a little bit. Take it easy. There's our pals. And we're in. Let's just drop it off. I don't think anything's going to get built here, though. No. 26,500. Thank you very much. 2,570 XP. Irrelevant to me because I'm maxed out, but that might be a mission you do early on, so it's quite a reasonable amount of XP. So there we go, guys. No more tasks. Nothing appearing in the top right corner. Every time. We are clear to do what we want. So the next job... I'll just get these ready for returning. Let's have a look. We've got three trucks there to return. <laughs> what else have we got on this map? So that's that one done. Just one last quick reminder. All done there. All done there. And all done there. Yes. So what have we got? Oh, yeah. A bit... Oh, not, not, not that as of. He's easy enough to return with his trailer, so that's cool. Our problem is over here with this guy and more importantly, this guy. Oh, what are we going to do with that? How much time have we got? Do we make a start in trying to recover them? Yeah, okay. I'm asking for trouble. Pay start it is. 75 litres. Mm. Let's... First of all, without switching on the engine, ditch the trailer. And we need to get from there to there. But there's no access. Oh, guys, how do we... How do we rescue this phoenix? There's no way through there. Um, do we bring the paystar down to the Azov? Give the fuel to the Azov. And then... Try and get over these rocks down to the phoenix. Yeah. Oh, I know this is going to go so badly wrong. We do not have much fuel to play with yet. I parked the trailer in a bad place. We're already wasting fuel. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Try and keep all-wheel drive off as long as possible. Still drinking 16 litres a minute. Oof. Come on, push him round. Okay, we're relying on you as of you have got to get to the Phoenix and get him out. Park this guy here slightly out of the way. I'll do engine off quickly. I just start the engine again. Stop. Engine. Okay. 
refuel to the Azov from the Paystar. Bye bye fuel. We are committed. 100 litres. 50%. Can we get over there? 92 metres. What do you reckon then? What should we do? Through there and take a hard right and try not to tip over coming over this way. We might need to use some trees for winch points. This is so going to go wrong. It'll be, that'll be three trucks we need to rescue. Phoenix, Azov and Paystar. Oh my life. Right. Low ratio. Let's go. Okay, that's a bad start. Why is it leaning over like that? It's got a big hitbox. Ah! It's... Let's try and put this one to there. Ah. Already wasting up valuable fuel. Okay, let's ditch that. We'll go around the back. Probably tried that first time round. Right, we need to get winch points so we don't tip over. There to there. Okay, next winch point. From there to there. Oh, he's still holding his own without me pulling on the winch. That's quite promising. Okay, that's quite good. Oh, it sees. Close. You got peel up there. That's good. Next obstacle. We get down there without any problems. I think so. Oh yeah. Okay. That'll do. Stay there. Stay there. Break. Handbrake on. Reach him. Right, need to go a little bit further forward. That's more than enough brakes on. Right, come here, Phoenix. No. No, 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 no. Right, release that winch. Let's pull the back over to the side a wee bit. We need to get the winch on the back or the front of the Phoenix. So maybe I need to go over there. We'll pull them backwards out the way. Come on. Stupid tree. Okay, we need to pull the front round. So... I reckon we can get to the back. Can we refuel from there? No, just out of reach. Okay, that's no surprise. Right, reverse. Go. Come on. Engine on. Come on, Phoenix, do it. I would say I would say he's out let's move in for fuel yeah okay we'll take it all from the Phoenix's main tank he can top up himself that's good we are full now the question is engine off change truck Uh, how do we get him back out of here? Uh, Multi-point turn, if possible.
Come on, round you go. As good a turning circle as this guy's got, it's not brilliant, brilliant. What were there? Yes. Okay, guys. Hey, that wasn't bad. I'll take that any day of the week. Question is, can we get back up there? Or am I pushing it? I am pushing it, but I am tempted. We have fuel, we don't need to worry about that. It's the route that's a problem. Oh dear me. What do you reckon guys, would you go up there? Let's get a winch point to that tree there, if it's strong enough. See, that's why you need it. I would have been over there. Without a shadow of a doubt, I would have been on my side again. Right, come on. Cool. Right, we're stable there. Let's get rid of that. And we'll tie a better bunch point there. I think that tree's going to cool down, though. Yeah, come on. Get up. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Try move forward back to there. Come on, get up. It's not one to go up there. Well. Okay. Keep moving. Get ready to throw out a winch. A nighttime setting and re align there. But oh, we're still close to the pay star. Let's stop there. Let's get it around to the afternoon. We've had a good break, reassess the situation, and we're moving on. And keep the line loose so you can move forwards and only pull it in when you need it. Oh, where they are. Now can we get around this corner without tipping? Oh yes. Don't go in the ice. Slowest turning steering wheel ever. That's close enough. Pick up me and pop up. Cat for fuel. Oh, we can't. We're not close enough. Why are we not close enough to paste that? Crazy. There we go. Job complete, guys. Job complete. Just got to get him out of here now again. This is a roadway here, so I'm thinking that might lead back. Where does it lead to, though? I don't know. We'll save that adventure for the next mission, I think. Maybe getting these things back to the road. Engine off. But... That's the Vor eh, the Voron, the Azov and the Paystar both refueled and recovered, technically, kind of. So, not bad for an episode. Glad we've got the contracts all done down here. We've got, where are we? There they are, they are. Got to get trucks back all over the place. Hey, where's the other one? Yeah, Azov 73210. Got a trailer up there to get back still. We've got a service trailer up there. Oh! And still quite a few little tasks to be activated. So, guys, any preferences, let me know and I will look into it. 
I do need to get these trucks back to the garage. Um, so uh, I'll figure it out. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. Let me know you did enjoy it. And uh, if you haven't done so, usual subscribe button will be up there. Notification bell will let you know when the next one comes out. But thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.